Hi guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful What a wonderful If you're new here, thank you for watching and welcome. And please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when I post a new video. Today, I'm going to be reading the first like 100 words or so of y'all stories that I asked you to post on my community post um, a few hours ago. So if you enjoy this video, drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, so the first story I have is from can't underscore draw and we're going to read theirs. The claws of the crow's ring throughout Moongrove Forest, brilliant sunbeams peek through the red, yellow, orange, and the occasional green leaves of the towering trees. Puffy clouds float lazily overhead, their purple shades against the vibrant sunset. My inky black hair flows loose in the breeze, my bare feet shift against the cold, rough gravel path. I've been wandering through the forest for a while now. For a moment, I think I'm lost but I quickly find a familiar tree stump where I spent hours strumming at my guitar. That is so cool. I have so many questions. Where are they? What are they doing? Who are they? What are they? What are they? So many questions, so many questions. Okay, so the next one is from Rainbow with a little colon and a D for a smiley face. And I'm gonna read theirs. Sophie, 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 her mind was racing about her horrible dream. The thought of being stuck in the past to ponder what would be in the present was too much for her. It overwhelmed her to even un entertain the idea of her dream. Nothingness, nothingness. She softly gasped the, grasped the fluffy frayed blanket that hung by her head as she softly got up and trunged to her doorway with her racing mind and the busy day that may lay ahead of her. She carefully brushed her teeth, making sure to cover every inch of her mouth because the paranoia of a cavity bothered her. As if it would ever even happen brushing her teeth so carefully. Then she raced back to her room and put on a sweatshirt that smelled of fresh linens and cinnamon. I love how you got like some of the character voice in there and like her fears and stuff in there too. That's super cool. Let's see. Next one is Hannah. Um, I have no idea how to say her last name. I'm sorry. I'm gonna put it like right over here, the name, cause I don't wanna butcher it. <laughs> um, and we're going to read this. As a morning person, Estelle never found it hard to get ready for school. I love that name. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I'm also going to put it over here so I don't say it wrong. You can always tell me to correct it, but okay. Her in unhurried routine gently prepared her for the day to come. The two hours of alone time were never enough to satisfy her, but they were better than the 20 or 30 minutes her classmate, classmates often spoke of. She lay in her bed for a few minutes, soaking in the silence. As the morning sunshine began to creep through the window, the window curtains, she got up and drank some water. She opened the window and stuck her head out, feeling the sun's warm, lo warm loving touch. She took in all the different sounds of nature. They were untouched by the noise of people driving or heading to work or school. Instead, they were full of rustling leaves, scurrying animals, and the soft wind. You have such good descriptions. I love it so much. Y'all are like giving me ideas over here. Next one is from Butterfly underscore Books. And this is theirs. The sound of great gunshot echoed through his ears and bounced off the walls of the alleyway. He heaved in a heavy breath. With no restraint, he dropped the gun, pulling a bottle from the pocket of his pants. He calmly dumped the liquid from the bottle onto the ground. It lit up like, like a firework, creating a small circle. The teen boy jumped into it. The circle closed and his, and he opened his eyes to be in a large garden. His phone buzzed and he pulled it out. He rolled his eyes as he read the text. Has it been programmed? The general asked, referring to the monster from the alleyway. No, 
thanks for doing my dirty work experiment, he muttered under his breath. Instead, he replied with a simple yes. Blood seeped out from seeped out from the cut in the shirt. The dang animal scratched him. The pain wasn't that bad. It happened when he was sent on missions like this, which was often. The hard thing is to cover it up. I would so read that. You need to like finish that and like send me the next like thing, please. Please, like, please. Um, next one is from this person. I don't want to butcher their last name. Her fingers traced the lining of the bricks as she sat on her front steps. The light autumn breeze softly brushed her face, bringing her back to the present. Reaching up, Mabel, Mabel, I think? twirled a stray hand of her thick red hair, returning it to its place behind her ear. It was days like this that caused her mind to wander. Or wonder. To imagine what could have been, but that was in the past now. There was no use dwelling on a life she could never have. She finally overcome the obstacle of moving on, and she was going to make the best of it. What is she moving on from? You guys are, like, so good at this. Like, <laughs> like better than me, honestly. <laughs> okay, so this person is, this one's from Sunny with three dots. They wrote a short prologue. It was a clear night on January 5th, 4,076, 4, when Aaliyah Willington gave birth to Bailey M Mary Willington. She was an unusual newborn, her hair dirty blonde and a small and a small tan newborn body, but her eyes were a lavender color. Magic had been banned almost a, a hundred years before, and unnatural colored eyes were a sign of early magic in a human. Bailey's mother was frightened at the thought of her daughter being magic because that would mean they would be banned from the society. Aaliyah, Bailey's mother, hid the baby in a basket and put her outside the gates of the society, hoping that a family from the outside world would find her and care for her. Magic was only banned in the society after all. I love how you used my spelling of my name. It's probably not personal, but whatever. Also, this is everything. Like, publish it now, please. I need to read the whole thing, please. Please, I, I need to read all of it. I'm, please, I, I'm gonna cry if you don't do it. Please. Thanks. Okay, I know this was a short video, but um, there wasn't a whole bunch of them that you guys put yet, which is fine. You guys can keep doing it. If you guys want me to do a part two of this, keep posting your um beginning or you can do like an end or your favorite scene keep posting those in the community post and i will react to them in my next video if you guys want me to so thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed please like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when i post a new video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye I know.